Let's talk to Dr. Adam Dolby, who who has read the 80-page contract and decides he doesn't support the strike anymore. And Ben White, who's actually resigned from his position as a registrar in East London to spend more time campaigning. Um, Dr. Dolby, first of all, just, just tell us, you had a change of heart, did you? Uh, I did. Um, originally, I, uh, I looked at the con. Uh, I, I was with my colleagues. Um, the BMA's leaflet said that we were going to receive a 30% pay cut. Um, and suddenly, I was with my colleagues. We were all up in arms about this, that we were, we'd worked so hard. We have lots of expenses, such as GMC membership, um, medical defence union things. Um, Royal College memberships for, for more senior doctors, um, which aren't optional. Um, and uh, we were up in arms about this 30% pay cut. It, it, it felt like a real kick in the teeth. Um, but slowly as, as, as time wore on, the, the, the calculator on the BMA's website was taken down uh, because this was shown to be inaccurate. And it moved more on to a patient safety uh, aspect. Um, and to me, it's it's ended up really all about Saturday pay. Um, so not, which, from your point of view, not worth going on strike for? Certainly not. I mean, today is a deeply regrettable day for the profession. Um, it should never have got to this stage. Um, and uh, I, would, I would, of course, encourage your listeners, if they do need medical treatment, to go and seek that medical treatment because the consultants, our fantastic consultant colleagues, are providing that care. Um, Are you pharmacies working today? and GPs. Uh, I'm actually uh, on uh, on leave. Right. Okay, let me go to Ben White, who's a specialist registrar in gastroenterology and general medicine at Newham Hospital in East London. Although, despite the long title, you just reti- resigned from that post, have you, Ben? I did, <laughs> Jeremy. Thanks for having me on. I just want to say very briefly um, my, my gratitude and solidarity for the remarkable story today of the Hillsborough campaigners who've had a victory for truth and justice in this country. But uh, going, go, going to Adam's points, um, I think I do agree wholeheartedly that this has been regrettable and none of us wanted to go on strike. And, and how we've got to this point, I honestly don't know. It's been a, an utter mess. I think that's what everyone can agree on. Um, what I disagree wholeheartedly on is the issue of Saturday pay. For me, it's absolutely not about pay. Um, uh, and I think, I think the majority of doctors would say that. I think if you were to instead take any money they claim they're putting into a, a pay rise and actually put it into extra doctors and nurses uh, to actually staff our rotors appropriately, then I think that's, that's something we could all so get behind. If, it, if it's not about pay, it gets a bit confusing. It's about having to do too much work. Is that right? I think uh, the sort of the lines coming from the government have been repeatedly that this is about Saturday pay, and that's clearly what's confused people. I mean, I've listened to your show many, many times, Jeremy. And, Thank you. Uh, and it's, it is quite, it's quite amazing that the message doesn't get through. I personally have been campaigning very hard for months about safe staffing issues that we have in the NHS. Uh, um, uh, you know, I really work plenty of Saturdays or work plenty of night shifts and that wouldn't stand to change in the new contract so no for me it's not about Saturdays either um, for me it's about being able to in an, in an overrun service we have more admissions than ever before I mean you saw an A&E actually try to call in the military uh, last week to, to cope with their admissions okay. we don't so, have doctors and nurses so do- Dr Dolby it's, it's almost you're talking at cross purposes here this is according to Ben this is nothing to do with him getting more pay or less pay this is to do with general system overstretch this strike well that's that's the point where it becomes a political argument and about the future of the nhs which is a very important debate Uh, we do need a debate in this country about what the nhs can and can't provide um, how it should be structured how it should be funded um, and that kind of thing Um, but to do it on the back of a, a contract dispute is 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 not helpful um and the the new contract won't make any difference uh, really, introduce, uh, alone, it won't make any real difference to to the the shortages of staff. Ben, is it the case that you simply want more money spent on the NHS? Is that it? No, I think to dismiss no. this as a 
purely political debate is is very simplistic. I see providing care for my patients as the most important thing. If you if your plans, which they are planning, is a sort of nebulous seven day NHS promise, you're looking at stretching five days of doctors over seven days. I mean, the, the consultants are already trying to implement these rotors at the moment. They're, they're already saying they're not working, uh, which is what we obviously fear. So if you're stretching doctors thinner, how on earth is that safe for patient care? Okay. So, but Dr. Dolby, you don't think this is about safety? You think that the safety line is spin, do you? Yes. Um, there's, there's some... There's, the, the government are investing more in our health service than ever before. Um, there, there, are, there are weekends I've worked where the, you've been kind of on your own, um, which obviously is unsafe. Um, but, and then during the week, there have been quite a few more people around... Um, so to spread those service, those those same number of doctors over the same over seven days might actually help to a certain extent. Okay, so uh, you, I understand. you want more doctors at weekends? Yes, absolutely. Okay, thank you very much, indeed, Dr. Adam Dolby, who doesn't support the strike anymore because he says he's read the eighty-page contract the government has drawn up, and Ben White, who has resigned from his position at a hospital in Newham, uh, Newham East London, because he wants to campaign more forcibly against the government's plans. There we go. Are we any clearer about what this strike is actually about? Michael Logan in Lincoln says the people must support the doctors, otherwise we will lose the NHS. Simple as that. It's important that the government is democratic and doesn't try to force these policies through. Jeremy Z. in Harrow says if one person dies as a result of this strike, I would like to see the board of the BMA indicted on corporate manslaughter. Maria Cook emails, I regularly attend hospital for ongoing illnesses. I've had an appointment cancelled. I do receive such wonderful care from the dedicated, underpaid junior doctors, and I don't feel aggrieved. I can't understand why the government want to alienate such an important part of our NHS. Why has Mr Hunt used spurious statistics to attack the doctors? And let's see, last one, maybe two more. Andrew Thurston emails, I thought being a doctor was a vacation not just a job. They chose the profession so they could help people. They knew the situation before they started training. They should not be allowed to go on strike. If there are any fatalities, it is on their conscience. I am disgusted. And Julian Nairsborough says, let me just see what she says here. If there is any day to have an accident, today is the day, she says. How bizarre. Highly experienced consultants will be covering the striking junior doctors across emergency rooms. Oh, I see, so she thinks that there's a higher skill level now in A&E as a result of the cover. Not that you want an accident. 